here's one that's really confusing for new programmers. What is a class and what is an object? Because sometimes you see those two things right next to each other. A class and some kind of object. And you might be wondering, how are these two things linked? Well, I'm going to tell you how they're linked. And again, it's very, very simple. A class is something that you can think of as some kind of blueprint. So if you think of a traditional blueprint, let's say we had a blueprint to make an 18th century warship. Well, the blueprint itself doesn't really do anything, does it? It simply gives you instructions on how to make something tangible. So you'd grab your blueprint, you'd get your workers together, and five years later, you would have your fantastic warship, but not a fantastic drawing. <laughs> okay, now it's the same for programming. A blueprint is given the name of a class. So I have my class. Now, sometimes I want to make something from that class or blueprint. And that thing is called an object. So just like with the ship, blueprint, ship, class, and object. The class itself is a template. And when we write code, it all goes into this class. But later on, when we want to create an object, we write a little bit of code that says, I would like you to use the class to make a brand new object. So, just by that little explanation, you should have sort of theorized yourself that you can make multiple objects. And of course, you would be right. So, the beauty of this system is, let's say, for example, I've got a class that is a blueprint for employee data. That's pretty boring, but whatever. And inside of here, I've got a name and I've got an email address. Just a nice, simple version. Then I would create an object out of that. And I would say his name is Grant and his email address is whatever it happens to be at hotmail.com. But then later on, I could use this same class and I could create another employee called Adam with adam at gmail.com, etc., etc. So I could create multiple, multiple objects. I can keep creating as many as I like, and all of them would inherit, in a way, all of the things from the original class, all of the things that the original class can actually do things like the name, the email address. If I wanted to, I could have some code in the original class that said, combine the name and the email address to make some weird email address, that's fine. And because I've contained that in the original class, the objects all get that same capability. So it's, it's a little tough to understand at first, but if we come back to our ship and we have our blueprint, and we've created, I'm going to draw this better this time, I promise, our amazing warship with its cannons and its masts. I didn't, didn't think you'd get an art class, did you? Yeah. So we have our warship. Now this blueprint might have a little bit of code that's called fire. And that bit of code would cause a cannon to fire. And that bit of code fire would be the same for all of the warships you created from the blueprint. So in an analogical kind of way, I think that's a word, that is how you explain classes and objects. A class is a blueprint and an object is the thing that you make from that blueprint.